Well, this week of work and school is going to be wetter overall as our weather pattern is going to turn a lot more unsettled. Action News Jack's meteorologist Corey Sima says south of I-10 is most likely uh, to see the rainfall today. But by midweek, Wednesday, Thursday, and maybe even into Friday, we're tracking better coverage, almost 100% coverage in the metro area. So be prepared for maybe turning off the irrigation system and also somewhat cooler temperatures, especially over last week, as we're only going to be around average, which is upper 70s, low 80s for this time of the year. We'll follow a number of storylines throughout the course of the day today. Breaking news from the overnight hours, Gymnastics Unlimited on Lenox near Normandy goes up in flames. Unclear exactly how that fire started, but certainly the building now a total loss. No reported injuries, thankfully. The future of Duval School Superintendent Dr. Diana Green may very well be in question as uh, the school district is uh, evidently planning a midweek meeting to discuss the ongoing investigation into recent allegations involving teachers at Douglas Anderson School of the Arts and recent arrest information as well that's come to light. What the district knew, when the district knew it, uh, ultimately could uh, be in question as the fate of the Duval School superintendent uh, future is in question. Diana Green has been superintendent since 2018. It'll be a story that we'll follow for you over the coming days. We want to encourage you and invite you to be listening Tuesday morning to our Jacksonville mayoral candidate uh, spotlight forum at 8 8 a.m. We'll be in the Fair and Farrah Performance Studio with Donna Deegan and Daniel Davis. They'll be answering in-depth questions and uh, focusing on a number of weighty topics from crime and crime prevention to infrastructure, spending, and much, much more. You can email your questions if you'd like to news at wokv.com. That's news at wokv.com. And we encourage you to listen before early voting begins a week from today, Monday, May 1st.